Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our two box Bowman mixer featuring a box of 2020 Bowman draft baseball jumbo edition. So three autographs per box right here. Yep. And then another three autos right here in 2019 Bowman Chrome HTA. That's the one with the, just the slider box and just the three autographs in there. There you go. So two pretty great boxes. Um, all cards ship too. So if you're like, hey, do I, I get the paper in this stuff? Yeah. In this particular break, you do, because it's only one box. It's pretty easy. 15 spots. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. I appreciate it. All 30 teams are in, and now let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a four, seven times for each list. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Kevin. Down to Kevin. Kevin and seven. All right, three and a four, seven times teams. One, two, three, four, five. And seventh and final time. After seven, we got the Cincinnati Red Legs down to the Bo Sox. We got the, the sweet, sweet sounds of spring training baseball in the background as well. Dodgers are at Indians camp. Wait, are Cle is Cleveland just going with Cleveland baseball team this year? What's the... Because they're changing the name. Anyway, um, I don't know what their official thing is going to be. All right, here's the first half of the list right there. Kevin with the Reds, Nick with the Pirates, Jerry with the Rangers, Jarrell with the Astros and the Giants, Kevin with the Tigers, Greg with the Phillies, Henry with the Royals, Franklin with the Padres, Anthony, you got my Dodgers, Kevin with the Tribe, Greg with the Yankees, Bradley with the A's, Greg with the Rockies, and Kevin with the Nationals. Here's the other half of the list right here. Bradley with the Cardinals, Franklin with the Twins, Khalil with the Brew Crew, Jerry with the Halos, Kevin with the O's, Cubbies, Metropolitans, Nick with the Shy Sox, Brad with the Bluebirds, Henry with the Fish, Khalil with the Bravos, Bradley with the Snakes, Anthony with the M's, Greg with the Rays. I guess there's really no kind of shortened. Is there a nickname for the Rays? And Boston, Bosox, I guess. You know, Kevin with the Bosox. Bean Eaters? Was an old name, maybe? Boston, Boston Baked Bean Eaters? Or am I just making that up? I know the early version of the Brooklyn Dodgers was Bridesgrooms for like a season, I think. Some wacky names back in the day. So they settled on, on trolley dodging. All right. T-Rays, is that what they call them? That's what Town Card is saying, T-Rays? All right. I can get, go with that. What about the Rangers? I guess the do the Rangers have a, you know, like, I guess you can call the A's the Athletics. Bronx Bombers, right? Twinkies. Twins get Twinkies sometimes, I hear. That's an old school kind of nickname. Strohs, that's just shortening the name, but that works too. Rocks. Tigers, really, T-Rays? Tigers. Um, you can trade, by the way, while we're goofing around here. Fighting Phils, that's a good one. The Buckos, Friars. Maybe you can go Gigantes with this one, I guess. Cards, Redbirds. Rangers don't really have one. I feel like Texas Rangers. Is there is there a maybe local rate? Maybe I can listen to some MLB radio this year and catch some of the local flavor for each team. I mean, like, Nats are pretty easy, right? The old range? Ranges? I don't know. Twins are available for trade if anybody wants that. Remember here, just in case you need a visual, these are the... That's 2019. And this is the draft with these two guys on the box as well. All right, so we'll, hey, we'll pause the video for a little bit, and we're going to see if there's uh, any offers for Frank... Otherwise, we'll come back and we'll do the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. No deals were done. It's all good here on a Friday, the 12th. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for starting your weekend with us. We appreciate that. All right. So we'll hold the three autographs right here toward to the end. Let's get this one done.
Also, I realize I think this Dodgers Cleveland game is a uh, is a replay. I think they already played. This is like a 12 noon game for us. I guess I could see the Walker Bueller start. He gave, gave up a couple runs. Good luck. Good news, folks. All card ship out of here. Usually when we do these full case breaks, just to save us some time, we won't ship the uh, paper, but this time we will. So there's Jordan and Wogu for the Cubbies. That's our first autograph for Kevin and a Jason Dominguez Chrome. That would be for Kevin Hall. Now, this is not Jason Dominguez first, but still nice, Greg. There's a paper, Dominguez. We'll just set that aside. We got O'Neill Cruz to 250, purple paper. That'll be for the Pirates. That'll be for Nick. Another paper, Jason Dominguez, going to Greg and the Yankees. This one might as well just top load those, since we're on that trend anyway. A lot of those Tigers youngsters that we've seen over the years, over the recent years, I feel like guys like Riley Green, we're going to start seeing these guys. I think he was playing last year too, but we're starting to see these guys embed themselves into the MLB. So it'll be really interesting to see how they, how they progress. Robert Hassel, Bowman first. Paper for the Padres. It's for Frank. And, and oh wow 81 out of 150 Spencer Torkelson blue autograph for the Tigers Kevin Hull got randomized the Tigers in this little two box break and is rewarded with a Torkelson your number one overall pick that's pretty sharp Thanks, Kevin, for getting in. Wow. That is awesome. Torkelson. There's Kyle Isbell to 499. Paper for Henry and the Royals. I mean, we're at the point now where now it's just time to get that card graded, you know? And you don't, there's probably no rush on grading that card either. It's going to be a couple of years before he gets called up officially. He's, he's got some, he put in some work over this during the spring, though. So it'll be, it'll be crazy to see. And then if you get if that grades out nicely, Kevin. Now that that might be more of a Beckett thing, just because of the ink. So they'll, they'll grade the auto too. If you get like a solid nine five ten out of there, man. Robert Hassel Chrome and our first Zach Bean paper for the Rocks. That'll be for Greg. 
There's Jimmy Glowanky, sky blue for the Giants. That'll be for Jarrell. And Brett Beatty, orange to 25. 9 out of 25 for the Mets, Kevin. Nice little color match here with the orange and the orange trim for the Mets. Got a Torkelson paper out of the deal as well. That's how I would do. I would just collect all the Torkelsons together, grade them all out. Hopefully some come back awesome. And then you hold on to those. And then you hope that he becomes a perennial all-star, a superstar even. You know, maybe he wins an MVP early in his career. Maybe he takes the Tigers to the playoffs, wins them a World Series. I mean, all those, all those visions start dancing in your head of what could be. And then at the right time, you know, there you go. You can unleash that Torkelson autograph, grade it out nicely, and say, here it is. That's his first. There's Dominguez paper for the Yankees, Greg. We got Jordan Balazovic to 250 for the Twins. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo for Frank. And our third and final autograph out of this jumbo box is going to be a speckle autograph, Thomas Agassi. 60 out of 71 for Texas. Jerry with the Rangers. Still haven't come up with a with a shortened nickname or whatever for the Rangers. The old Range. Range Baseball. There you go. Rex, what's going on? How are you? We got Alika Williams for the T-Rays. We're going to give that a shot. <laughs> Blue paper to 150 for Greg and the T-Rays. Imagine if the, uh, if the Rays had beaten... My Dodgers in the in last year of World Series, they would have they would have been one of the few. They they would be one of the few teams, few cities, with those major sports that would have held the Stanley Cup, the World Series, and the Super Bowl. How crazy would that have been? And the current title holders for. Or would have been the title of all, all of those things. That would have been crazy. I feel like it doesn't... You're, oh, you're going to be my Jock, Jock Peterson stat reporter from now on? I think you'll lose interest in that very quickly, Rex, once, once he goes back to his uh, season averages. <laughs> then it will just be a Jock Peterson home run tracker, which would be a lot more fun. You'll, you'll be sad about the the too many Ks and the 250 batting average. We'll bum you out. All right, and there's Zach Veen right there for the Colorado Rockies, Greg. All right, and here's your final three autographs, this time out of the HTA. He's having a that's a great spring though. You know, one thing with Jock Peterson that never presented itself in the majors was he I thought he had well he stole thirty bases or so in triple A, so I was wondering if that's actually part of his game or if maybe he was just taking advantage of just just a lot of good situations that present himself in the minors. There's Carlos Hernandez. Can be an opportunist base stealer, but it gets harder in the majors. Carlos Hernandez, Royals autograph, heading out to Henry. That's what he's all about. 
The second auto is going to be Adam Klofenstein. That goes to Bradley and the Bluebirds. Nice. And the third and final autograph, the final autograph of the break, is going to be for the Yankees, Garrett Whitlock. Refractor autograph, 455 out of 499. And that's Greg with the Bronx Bombers. And there you go. There you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Pulled a nice one out of a two-box mixer. If you want to keep going, we got another two boxes in the store right now. Check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.